Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton celebrate their first Valentine's Day together as husband and wife, sharing never-before-seen footage from their wedding day. This is romance around here, of course. On Monday, the 52-year-old singer shared this clip from her July nuptials on Instagram. That's Gwen and Blake flashing their pearly whites in their wedding attire alongside Gwen's seven-year-old son, Apollo. I know we can reach the stars. You've already hung the moon. Gwen captioned the sweet post, quote, the stars, the moon, my whole world. And if that song sounds familiar, it's because it is. You and me are a blessing, and all we gotta do is say amen. It's the song Blake wrote and performed for Gwen on their big day called We Can Reach the Stars. I was only trying to impress Gwen. I think I'm his biggest fan. The No Doubt singer also shared this adorable montage with her beau, serving classic Gwen and Blake cuteness. I feel like you don't like me anymore. I don't. I, I love you. As for Blake, he posted his own throwback wedding snap in honor of Valentine's Day. That's the God's Country singer with his leading lady standing at the altar, which he sweetly captioned, quote, I'm the luckiest man alive. Happy Valentine's Day, Gwen Stefani. I love you. It's very emotional. Of course, the lovebirds first met on the set of The Voice in 2015. It ended up being the greatest moment of my life, you know, so it's just, it's amazing. It truly mm -hmm. is. And tied the knot in July at Blake's Oklahoma Ranch. Sometimes I just feel like I'm in a dream. Back in July, Blake sat down with Ellen DeGeneres and opened up about their big day, joking that he just let his then bride-to-be take the reins when it came to wedding planning even when he got criticized in the press for it. At one point I was saying, you know, in an interview, like, we're letting Gwen, you know, Gwen just do whatever she wants for the wedding. And then some writer wrote, well, oh, look, you know, the lazy, he's already a lazy, deadbeat husband. Yeah. But the truth is, I am. <laughs> but of course, it was her, it was all her idea, her, her vision. And all I had to do was drink and, and kiss Gwen Stefani. I mean, yeah. my God. It's, the greatest gig I ever had. Their good pal and the voice host Carson Daly officiated the nuptials and opened up about the emotional day shortly after their I do's. At the wedding, Gwen starts and she wrote this, I mean like, since I was a little girl, blah, 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 and she crushes. Not a dry eye in the church oh. on the lawn. We are all like, and it was so perfect that I yeah. said to Blake when she was done, I'm like, top that, buddy. Uh -huh. Well, turns out Blake held his own and surprised Gwen with that song I mentioned earlier. <laughs> and Blake starts by saying, you know, Gwen's always giving me a hard time about not writing enough songs. Yeah. So I wrote a song. And he sings her a song while he's crying that he wrote specifically for her. And the, not a dry eye in the house. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh and that was really a highlight. <laughs> and months later, it's safe to say, their love still has us crying. Are your eyes watery? I, yes. <laughs> gosh.